So, in this video we will talk about the Mobi format that Amazon will discontinue. For many years Mobi has been the format that users are using when they sideload books to a Kindle device. For example this Kindle Paperwhite and also in the Kindle app on an iPhone, iPad or an Android phone. But Amazon has switched from using Mobi format to new formats. They want us to use EPUB now to sideload books to your Kindle device. And when you do that, the EPUB book converts to Amazon's own format KFX. And if we start by switching to my desktop now, I will show you first the mail from Amazon. Here you can see the mail we got from Amazon and in this mail you see that from November 1st they will stop allowing to send Mobi files to an Amazon account. So if you use send to Kindle for email or from the Kindle apps on iOS and Android and by the way I have videos on my channel on how to do that and I prefer sending from the Kindle app on my iPhone and iPad to my Amazon Kindle account. That way they will be synced between all my Kindle devices and also my iPhone and iPad. And also if you use the Send to Kindle app from Windows or Mac. So they also say that from December 20 they will stop all support for Send to Kindle for Mobi file format. And they explain here that the Mobi is an older file format and does not support the latest Kindle features for documents. But it also says that if uh, you have some old Mobi documents already on your Kindle library, they will not be affected by this change. Will They will stop allowing send more Mobi files, but your old Mobi files will still work. But as they say here, I will recommend you to resend files in EPUB format actually because they have some new features that Mobi doesn't uh, support. So here we have the mail, but uh, if we open the Caliber software on a computer, here we have Caliber on my Mac. I have some example books here. You see the different formats here. EPUB is what I prefer using for all my devices even on Kobo. So you should always keep your original ebook in the EPUB format is what I recommend you to do. And then if you prefer send to feature to wirelessly send books to your Kindle, then you should also keep the EPUB because that is what you will want to send to your Kindle device. And you can easily send books by just right click in uh, Caliber and then send with the connect share feature to your sp specific email address. I will not click on that in the menu now because then you see my secret email but uh, it's easily done from Caliber software and I have a video on my channel on how to activate that feature so you can send books wirelessly to your Amazon Kindle from Caliber on your computer. But as you see here you have also Keypub format and the Keypub format uh, is for Kobo. You can easily convert books by using convert books in Caliber to specific formats. And you also have KFX and that is the special format for Amazon Kindle devices. But that only works when sideloading via cable. So uh, you can't send a KFX file to your Amazon Kindle wirelessly. You need to use a cable. And if you use a cable to send a KFX book to your Amazon Kindle, then they will not be synced between all the devices. So I never use a cable to transfer sideload books to my Amazon Kindle. I always do it wirelessly because I want my books to be synced between my different devices. If we open the folder with this book, you see here 
I hope you see. Maybe the window is a bit small for you to see. Maybe now you see a bit better. Then you see the folder with this book. You can see all the different formats as I talk about. You see the original EPUB here that I always store as an EPUB. You have a modified EPUB that I always do to have the right format. I have a video on my channel too, how to modify an EPUB to show you that. And KeyPub for Kobo devices. KFX if you want to sideload via cable to a Kindle. HTML Z I don't use, but uh, I have that format on this specific book. Uh, Mobi is the old format, and that is the file format that you should not use anymore. So all your Mobi files actually can be deleted from your Caliber library if you have it already in EPUB format, specifically the original EPUB, but that is the most important file to store and all the other is just what you prefer but the mobi files you can actually delete from your caliber library that's good so if we go back to caliber again we see all the different formats again so here you see what i use for all the different formats but the EPUB is what you should use nowadays to transfer wirelessly to your Amazon Kindle. So let's go back to the table cam. Like so. So here we have my Amazon Kindle again and also the Kindle app on my iPhone. And if you want to transfer files from an iPhone to your Kindle device and the app on your iPhone, it's so easy. Just choose the file in the files app and share it to your Kindle app on your iPhone. And the app does the rest itself. It converts it to the right format and it will show up on your Amazon Kindle device. So stop using Mobi, start using EPUB. Okay, bye.